guys! I've recently bought this really beautiful A5 notebook cover and I wanted to share it with you. This is from a company called Choose To Do and for some reason they don't seem to have a large presence on YouTube and I'm not sure why because they're really fantastic so I wanted to help spread the word about them a bit. This is from a collection called The Inner Holo because it's got a holographic design on the inside which you'll see in a minute and it comes in four different colors. This is the blue one which is called Inner Peace. There's also a green one and a pink one and a kind of orchid one. So I'll leave the website link down below and you can have a look at the other colors. They're all A5 notebook covers slash TNs and it's made out of vegan leather. This wasn't specified on the website so I emailed them to check and they emailed me back extremely quickly and were really friendly and reassured me that all of their products are completely vegan friendly so that is great and as you can see here it has this really nice stitching all the way around in the same color as the cover it's kind of padded so you can see here it's nice and satisfyingly squishy not really textured a little tiny bit of texture but not a huge amount and the stitching is really beautiful and goes all the way around it also has this elastic band here which goes in is into the binding there so it's very nicely finished off and then you can see this is what it looks like on the back so you can either leave it like that around the back or you can leave it on the inside you've just got a little glimpse there of the holographic inside and this is what the side looks like it has the choose to do logo here and then it's plain on the back and it's got the stitching going all the way around which I really like so if you open it you see da da this is why it's called Inner Holo. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love this. So I think it's a really nice combination having the plane on the outside and the holographic on the inside because it looks very unassuming if you wanted to take this to work or something. So I was thinking of using this as a cover for my A5 Hobonichi, which I use as a work planner. It doesn't really draw too much attention. It's just a very nice, pleasant, calming color. But then on the inside, you've got this amazing holographic thing going on. So. Another really, really cool feature of this planner is the strings. So you can see that when I showed you the outside, there's absolutely nothing there. You wouldn't think that this has strings at all. You would think it's just a notebook cover. And I think that this is an amazing feature and something that I've actually never seen on another planner is where the, the strings are covered on the outside, so you only see them on the inside. So you can see that it's got a double string here and they're really nicely finished off with these uh, gold rivets really beautiful beautiful attention to detail very nicely done the stitching continues on the inside here as well and you can see there's so many details I, I'm not sure where to start so you've got these two strings they're very thick uh, the same kind of elastic as what you have on the outside here so they're really thick really sturdy and there's a knot here and then at the bottom they've been left loose and the idea with that is that you can put a charm on each one of these so I'll leave the link to their video where the choose to do people explain uh, all of the different features and they show you what this looks like with charms on it I haven't put any on yet but I've got in mind that I would like to do that then you have pockets, many, many pockets. So I think that this is a really great feature because the pockets are very, very nicely finished. They're all beautifully stitched and you've got one, two, three, four, five uh, credit card pockets here that are all the same length so they would all fit credit cards. And then you've got a deeper one here, the last one, and then you've got a smile pocket here. So it looks very similar to the Hobonichi pockets. Let me just show you a Hobonichi cover that I've got slightly different but a similar kind of configuration and on the other side you have a full length pocket and then another full length pocket so you could actually use this as a notebook cover put one cover in here and the other cover in here and not use the rings if you wanted to and I tried that with my Hobonichi and it looked really good by the way there's also this really nice note from them uh, with this beautiful lettering and it says we're 100% using animal friendly materials at Choose To Do so I just thought that was a really nice touch 
And then you have a black pen loop which matches the elastics and this is elasticated. So this is a Caveco Student which is a pretty chunky fountain pen and it fits in fine. So really nice pen loop. And then here it says choose to do at the bottom and you've got the same color here as on the outside. So I think it's just a really, really nicely done notebook cover, really beautiful attention to detail, like I said, and then you've got these strings if you want them. So let me just show you how this works with a couple of different notebooks. This is my Leuchtturm A5 2017 planner, which I was using last year. And so like I said, you could either put it in this pocket and it would fit like this, And that just looks really beautiful. Obviously, the cover kind of sticks up if you put it in like that because this is really thick, but you can close it with the elastic and then it will be secure. So that fits beautifully. You can see it's exactly the same size as a Hobonichi cover. Or you could put the other, the other cover inside the front pocket here that would work as well and then you completely ignore the rings and you have this very nice notebook cover so that would work too keep in mind that this notebook is really chunky because I was using stickers everywhere so if you just had a normal bullet journal or you know a Leuchtturm A5 planner or notebook that isn't covered in stickers it would be a bit slimmer than this and then you could obviously do the same thing with a Hobonichi. Or if you wanted to, you could put this on the strings. So it looks like that. And then it closes really nicely. And you could add in another smaller volume as well. But this is quite a chunky planner here. So if you had inserts, you could, you know, you could fit in quite a few inserts that are smaller, like the uh, Leuchtturm or Moleskine, um, the Leuchtturm Jotbook or the Moleskine Cahier or Volant, something like that, you could fit in quite a few of them. And this is how it looks with the Hobonichi because that's what I was planning to use it with. So with the Hobonichi it fits perfectly and that's putting it on, on the strings. You could also, as I said, use it with the uh, with the back pocket here. So I think it's just a great option if you're looking for something that is similar to a Hobonichi cover but looks a little bit different and something that I really like about it is that it has this pen loop that's built in here as opposed to the Hobonichi pen loops which stick out the side which is obviously a nice Hobonichi classic design feature but if you're looking for something where the pen loop is inside I think this is a great option and also that has this elastic band cover so it will stay closed but open easily. The other thing that I really like about it is how it has a string so if you've got a couple of different notebooks you've got the option of keeping them uh, both on the strings. So for example I use my Hobonichi together with a smaller insert that keeps my passwords so I could put the Hobonichi on here and then the password booklet on the other string and then it's got lots of pockets and the option to put a charm on the end. So in terms of uh, cost, these are $29.95 US, I believe, and the shipping was extremely fast, great customer service, they sent me notification when it shipped and also a tracking number and like, you know, kind of shipping updates and it arrived uh, in the UK really quickly. So um, I recommend it on all fronts. I had a very, very good experience with them. So I hope that this was useful. Uh, I'll be back again soon with another video and as always thank you so much for watching. Bye!